Looking for useful Arabic expressions to learn and use when visiting Morocco? In this video, I'm going to share with you 50 most common Arabic expressions to better connect with Moroccans, plus 9 romantic phrases you can use with your Moroccan spouse. Coming up! Hey guys, welcome back to the most common expressions in Moroccan Arabic part 2. If we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Mohamed from FluentPolyglot.com helping you to get further and faster in learning Moroccan Arabic. And on this channel, I'll create Moroccan Arabic lessons just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Hey, in case if you haven't watched part 1 of this video, then make sure to check it out first in the YouTube cart right here or right here and hey at any point during this video check out the expressions in the description below I'll list out everything mentioned in this video down here a quick note before we start there are some sounds in Arabic that do not exist in English like ha sound or ka sound or ha sound or even a sound so since Moroccan Arabic is spoken only most Moroccans use the so-called the Arabic romanization that means that we use the English letters in numbers to express ourselves in Moroccan Arabic. So you will expect some numbers in words like seven that represents ha sound. And then number nine that represents ka sound. Number five represents ha sound. And then number three, a sound. And also J that represents the French R. R, R, R. So let's jump into the phrases. So the first category we have is the transportation. Where is the bus station or where is the train station? Fin kaina mahtat tren. Fin kaina mahtat tren. And that's for the train station. For the bus station, fin kaina mahtat tobis. Fin kaina mahtat tobis. Next one we have is take me to the hotel place. Dini l'hotel afak. Dini l'hotel afak. And you can name the hotel, for example, like Hope Marrakesh Hotel. Dini l'hotel Marrakesh afak. Dini l'hotel Marrakesh afak. Next one we have is, is the meter is on. And this happens a lot when the taxi driver forgets about turning the meter. And that's a problem because at the end he will wish the tariff he wants. So better watch out for that. And if you found the meter is off, then please ask him to turn it on, which is our next expression. Turn on the meter, please. خدم الكونتور عفك خدم الكونتور عفك خدم الكونتور عفك Second category we have is the mealtime expression. So the first one we have is I am hungry. أنا جاني الجوع أنا جاني الجوع Next one we have is I am thirsty. أنا عطشان أنا عطشان for feminine, we add A at the end. Next one we have is in the name of God. Bismillah. Bismillah. And this one is used within the Moroccans a lot, especially when starting certain things like drinking or eating or traveling. Next one we have is thanks to God, which is Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And Alhamdulillah is after finishing things like eating or drinking. Next one we have is I eat tajin. Ana kanakul tajin. Ana kanakul tajin or I like tajin. Ana tanbghi. Tanbghi tajin. Ana tanbghi tajin. Next one we have is I don't eat fish or meat. Ana ma kanakulsh lham. Lham means meat. Ana and for fish, أنا ما كنا كلش الحوت الحوت أنا ما كنا كلش الحوت. Next one we have is I eat everything. أنا كنا كل كلش أنا كنا كل كلش. Next one we have is I don't feel like eating. So let's say you're at a Moroccan's family's house and they're asking you to eat, but you're so full, you would say ما فيا Next one we have is I just want tea. Brit غير أتي. Brit غير أتي. Brit غير أتي. Next expression we have is this food is delicious. So this is the perfect opportunity to express your interest in the Moroccan food. So you would say, هذا 
الماكلة بنينة هاد الماكلة بنينة Next one we have is I am full شبات شبات Next one we have is May Allah reward you and this said to the host or to the person that made the food for you So you would say Allah يخلف الله يخلف and then the host would say to your health بصحة بصحة and then your response would be الله يعطيك صحة الله يعطيك صحة that means may Allah grant you health too الله يعطيك صحة the next category we have is being sick so I am sick أنا مريد أنا مريد and for the feminine A at the end أنا مريدة أنا مريدة next one we have is I want to rest a bit بغيت نرتاح عفك بغيت نرتاح عفك next one we have is I am tired أنا عيان أنا عيان or for feminine أنا عيانة أنا عيانة next category we have is offering help and asking for favors so the first one we have is can you help me وخا تعاوني وخا تعاوني next one we have is can I help you واش نعاونك واش نعاونك next one we have is give me this please أعطيني هادي عفك أعطيني هادي عفك next one we have is I want that please بغيت هاديك عفك بغيت هاديك عفك next category we have is thinking expressions so the first one we have is thank you شكرا شكرا next one we have is don't mention it بلا جميل بلا جميل next one we have is you're welcome مرحبا 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 next one we have is it's fine هنيا هنيا next one we have is no problem ماشي مشكل ماشي مشكل next one we have is may Allah protect you and this is a way of thinking الله يحفظك الله يحفظك الله يحفظك next one we have is may Allah have mercy on your parents and that's another way of thanking the person الله يرحم الوالدين الله يرحم الوالدين الله يرحم الوالدين next one we have is may Allah help you الله يعاونك الله يعاونك and this one says after uh, you tell the person goodbye الله يعاونك الله يعاونك next category we have is communication so the first phrase we have is what's this ايش هاد شي ايش هاد شي next one we have is what's going on ايش وقع ايش وقع next one we have is يلا يلا means let's go يلا يلا next one we have is i don't know مارت مارت who did this مارت next one we have is hold on بلاتي بلاتي next one we have is watch out عندك عندك next phrase we have is I don't speak Arabic or English ما تنهدرش ما تنهدرش بالعربية عربية means Arabic and for English ما تنهدرش بالنجليزية بالنجليزية ما تنهدرش بالعربية or ما تنهدرش بالنجليزية Next phrase we have is What do you think? Ash ban leek Ash ban leek Next phrase we have is I didn't hear you Mas ma tiksh Mas ma tiksh Mas ma tiksh Next one we have is Take care Tahalai frasik Tahalai frasik And that's for feminine For masculine Tahala frasik Tahala frasik Next up we have is It's good مزيان 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 next one we have is I didn't understand ما فهمتش ما فهمتش let's say a Moroccan guy was speaking so fast he would say ما فهمتش ما فهمتش هدر بشوية هدر بشوية speak slowly هدر بشوية next one we have is maybe وقيلة 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 Next one we have is What did you say? شنو قلتي؟ شنو قلتي؟ Now to the romantic phrases So the first one we have is I want you 
Can break. Can break. Next one we have is I love you. Can habbik. Can habbik. And if we add so much, which is bizaf, we combine it together, we would say can habbik bizaf or can break bizaf. Can break bizaf. Next one we have is love. Lhub. Lhub. Next one we have is my love for him. Habibi. Habibi. Next one we have is my love for her. Habibti. Habibti. Next one we have is I'm thinking about you. Can fikr fik. Can fikr fik. Can fikr fik. Next one we have is I want to see you. Brit nshufk. Brit nshufk. Brit nshufk. Next one we have is I am crazy about you. Can hamak alik. Can hamak alik. Next one we have is I am passionate about you. Can ashqak or tan ashqak. Can ashqak. The last one we have is I die for you. Tan mut alik. Tan mut alik. Perfect. Question of the day. What phrase do you think you will use most or help you most when talking to Moroccans? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you found this lesson helpful, then make sure to drop me a like and comment on what you thought of the video. And until next time, Fluent Polyglot helps you to get further and faster in learning Moroccan Arabic. Keep learning and I'll see you on the next one. Slama.